Hi folks and welcome once again to my monthly update. Wow, so much to talk about here. Okay, first off, on the expandeduniverse.com, we just finished our EU Madness tournament where you, yes, you the fans voted for your favorite EU characters. I got to admit it was no surprise who our winner was. Mara Jade uh, had it had every contest easily handled no matter how close the numbers looked at first uh, she was the clear winner uh, but thank you everyone for voting it was a lot of fun it was kind of uh, interesting to see which character besides Marjade which every uh, I should have guessed was going to win uh, the other ones were very interesting to see who who care what which characters would win and which characters weren't as popular now uh, people say hey we're gonna do it again next year no we're not <laughs> Marjade's way too powerful she would win every year and while Marjade fans would be very happy about that that I think if it's just going to be repetitive with the same winner, then we shouldn't do it every year. Now you're saying, well, Matt, we'll just take Marjade out. Sure, but then Jaina wins. Well, Matt, just take Jaina out. Well, then we start taking all these characters out that people love, and then no one's happy with the winner. So I think it's best just to wait a couple of years and do this again. And, you know, by, like I said, it was fun while it lasted, but it's kind of obvious who everyone's favorites are. Now, speaking of the expandinguniverse.com, I hope that's not all you paid attention to because there were some fantastic fantastic articles. You know, it's, it's a website that I help run, and yet I didn't even know about half these articles coming out. I enjoyed every single one. So I'm glad to say there's great content coming out, and I'm sure there's just as good content coming out this month as well. Now, for my channel, as you know, we did triple the videos for 3,000 subscribers. Folks, thank you once again. It's always a great compliment to hear that so many people enjoy watching this channel, and I was very happy to do that. Woo, though, what a day, what a month it was, I should say, uh, trying to put those all together. Now I'm caught up. I got tons of videos banked up, too, and I'm going to start rolling them out, as always, uh, on my Matt's Expanded Universe uh, videos. I'm going to keep plugging away through the Rebellion Air. It's not as difficult as the Clone Wars were, because... Well, not to be mean, but the Clone Wars had more boring stories. Now, the Rebellion was no picnic, though, because it does have a few stinkers in there, and I've addressed a few of them. I'll probably address a few more as time goes on. But uh, overall, I've been kind of happy with it. It's been a lot of fun plowing through it. But as you see, that little error between New Hope and Empire, there's so much that goes on. <laughs> so it's going to take me a couple more months to move through it, but it's still fun. On my board game review, as you notice, I started uh, flipping out and putting some of the misses board games in there. Uh, I, I've been I've been promising to review some of the misses games for about two years now, and I haven't gotten around to it. And someone called me out on it. He said, "Hey, Matt, are you going to do any of the misses board games? You said you would." I was like, "Oh, dang, yeah, I did." So I started flip, uh, putting a few of them in there this past month. And I think this month, I'm just going to put all the misses uh, games. This means there's going to be some vintage games. Plus, she has some newer games that I also want to review. And uh, then after that, I'll go back to some of my games and kind of flip-flop back and forth from there on out. So uh, expect seeing some of my games, some of the misses games, some vintage games, and whatnot. Uh, I did get a few new games in. Uh, I just need to play them. I played one once, but that's not good enough to do a review. So I'll be playing those while the other videos are going on. And I just got... I think I got a nice vintage game I've been looking forward to. I don't want to say anything about it just in case uh, they uh, they'll welch on the deal. But uh, anyway, I'm pretty excited to see if that will come in. Uh, other things going on. The podcast. First off, I totally forgot about Easter weekend. I just got back, and so Bruce wasn't available. I had to do something last minute. And what I did on uh, yesterday's uh, podcast was I talked about Nathan Butler's uh, retirement from Star Wars Timeline Gold. Um, he said a lot of interesting things and I wanted to respond to them in, in a positive way. There's a lot of things I agreed with and things I wanted to comment on. At first I wanted to make those Matt Chats. If you know Matt Chats are exclusive YouTube videos to the ExpandedUniverse.com. But the Matt Chats are very small and my thoughts about Nathan Butler's comments were huge. <laughs> so I did like, a, I think it was a 30 minute uh, podcast just on that subject. So really wild if you want to check it out. Now, I'm pretty sure Bruce is going to come back for the next podcast and do like a news update, like a nerd news update. But I may start doing, uh, well, as you know, the Twin Sons Foundation just completed a great fundraiser uh, where they exceeded their goal and hit some stretch goals too. And that's great. And there's a lot of those people who donated a certain to a certain tier that get to be on Princes of the Universe. So what I may do is start having those guests 
guest on next because I love having different guests on. I think that's so much fun. I rarely get to do it because Bruce always wants to be on the podcast. Go figure, right? Now, for Saturday morning salmon flange, the missus and I get on there and we talk about the top five places we wish we could teleport to at any time. I think that was pretty fun. I have no idea what we're going to do later on this month because I have several different subjects I want to do it on. I just don't know who is available. I'm trying to get some of the original uh, uh, co-hosts on for that, but I don't know who's available and I don't know which topic I want to tackle first. So, But they're going to be fun. They're going to be enjoyable. The one with me and the missus comes out this Saturday. So what's going on for the rest of the week? Well, I am having a live Q&A this Thursday. If you'd care to join me, please do so. If you're not going to be able to join me, just please leave your questions in the comments below, and of course, I will try to get them answered. All right, folks, so that's it for now. See ya tomorrow.